Students in Mecklenburg County are preparing to send their kids back to class. Some students will be at their desk come Monday, but not all of them. And thank you for joining us tonight on this Friday. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Lindsay Klein. Some parents say the return is coming too late for their children. Fox 46's Derek Dellinger is live tonight at West Mech High School with the preparations and the lingering concerns that parents have. Derek. Yes, yeah, CMS says they are ready for the return, but they still say that there are some lingering things on a couple of fronts that they still need to address. Teachers worried about COVID and having access to the vaccine. There's also parents and students who are worried about exposure to the virus. And then there are some parents and students that are worried about potentially falling behind. It's quiet now, but come Monday morning, there will be more action at this elementary school than anyone has seen in months. Cars will be lined up, students will be heading in, and CMS says they want it to happen. We have heard great excitement, by the way, from our families and our students uh, who are looking forward to their first days of in-person instruction this school year. I am one of those families. But as students head back, there is apprehension on a couple of fronts. Teachers and staff nervous about getting COVID, but not yet being able to get the vaccine, and parents who feel like their child is falling behind. It's a, it's a tough situation for the kids. Tara and Greg Johnston on the middle and right are the parents of a now former CMS student. Alex is the brother of that student who I'll say this year and this semester led to a breaking point. She can't learn in an environment where she can't talk to her teachers after class. CMS did say that there are issues with grades right now in the district. They are lower than expected. That has led them to make changes. No score less than a 50 district wide and giving more time to complete assignments. Set up as an opportunity for students who may be negatively impacted by the pandemic to not feel as if they do not have hope. Fox 46 has heard over the last year from parents who have had smooth transitions to remote learning, but others have had challenges. For the Johnstons, they believe CMS's lower grades are the sign of a bigger issue. We're here to serve the kids, first and foremost, mm -hmm. and the kids have not been served. And they took their student out of CMS and into a private school. They say they could not wait any longer. Now it's important to note here that middle and high school students, they will not go back until February 22nd. And since they are on essentially a schedule where they're in class one week and two weeks off, some of those students won't be able to be back in class until March. It's also worth noting here is a, it's, it's kind of hard to believe, in fact, that uh, with all the COVID restrictions that have been in place, some students have not been in class in almost one year. Well, live at West Mech, Derek Dellinger, Fox 46.